and welcome to Appetite for Distraction. Apologies, we're a day late, but we do have apps. Hooray! Three of them, to games. be precise. Games. Uh, well, yeah, games. Uh, all on iOS today, the first of which is on the iPad, from mm -hmm. our friends at Chilingo. Hello, Chilingo. Hello. Uh, this game is called Bubble in Paradise. I like what they've done there. Yeah. So it's... Oh, wow. Oh, did, that's awesome. See, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> I have discovered something new about the game and that you can just tap on the, the main, main screen and bounce those around. Anyway, so this is uh, lots of modes. Uh, normal, endless, blitz, or battle. Unfortunately, okay. you have to play it for quite a while to unlock those other modes. But normal mode is what we're going to go for here. And okay. That's what everyone's going to play. It's Great. very, very good fun. Okay. So, what happens is there are bubbles, and what oh, we have yeah. to do is make words from those bubbles. Okay. So the minimum you can have is a three-letter word. So, like one, I can have that. Okay. Um, now you also have. Uh, also, I could have sheep. Nice. Five letters. Nice. There we go. I get good for that. Um, what else can we have on here? We could have boat. Boat. Boaty. Boaty? No. Oh, <laughs> Just boat. Damn. Uh, yeah. Now, as the bubbles come flying up, they'll uh -huh. keep flying up towards the top of the screen. Um, they'll get bigger the longer you leave them. You can see right there, oh, those yeah. ones at the top are just starting to increase in size, which yep. means they're going to take up more of the screen. It's, uh. it's that Tetris thing. You can't let it fill the screen. Uh, okay. So you have to keep coming up with words like... Uh, groove. Groove. That's better than what I had. That's way better than what I had. G-O-O-O-V-E. -E. 66. Yeah. Now, you also notice these power-ups that come down. Yeah, what is that? So this is an O. Uh, if we use this, this will give us an extra hint point. That's why it's in the shape of like a light bulb. Okay. So if we can come up with a word that uses an O. Uh, uh, sod. <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, then you can do that. Okay. And you get an extra hint. So what do uh, hints do? Hints, tap on that, it gives you a word, in this case, circuit. Ah. C I R. Uh, where's the other? Where's the other? Oh, it wants us to use. Uh, that. Circuit. So I've used the sped up one. Oh no, that's froze. That's freeze, oh, okay. sorry. Freeze. That one freezes the screen. So different power ups, different things. That one freezes it, so it gives you a bit more time to find uh, another word. Something really easy here, like scene. Um, so that's freeze. Other ones might speed it up, which okay. makes things more difficult. Oh. And like you might be like, oh no, I don't want to use that. So you have to try and avoid using that letter. Right. Okay. And a lot of the time, it's the letter you need. So um, that's kind of uh, mean. That's the one I'm looking uh, for. Okay, that's the so let, one. let's. I can do sod again just for the sake of this. Yeah. Um, faster. Ah. Uh, see now you get loads, and now oh you God, have to, everything's gone a horrible and misty. Now, yeah. Now you have to try and come up with something. So uh, what happens when the screen fills up then? Uh, when the screen fills up. Now you notice there, I, I got a word. What happens is this red bar starts going across the top. Okay. Now if I'm here, I'm like, can't think of a word. No words. Oh I no. have no words left. No words have come to you. No, none. Oh no. Um, then you just like. Does it look? Like, yeah, pretty unhappy bubbles right there. Yeah, I mean, I can see words, and that's that's actually more irritating. <laughs> I know I could win this, but I'm not. I'm gonna let it go. I think it's the end. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. So our best word was circuit with 87 points. Naturally. Which is not my best score on this, admittedly. Oh, wow. Um, I only found nine words out of that. I felt like more. Wow. Blimey, yeah. Yeah. It's not so good. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's pretty great. Yeah, you can buy extra hints using real world money if you want. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you get stuck. But that kind of saps the fun out of it. I mean, you can earn yeah. the hints in the game anyway, as you saw. And yeah. it's nice to just use them once in a while when you're really totally stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's great. I love that. That's yeah. Awesome. It's, it's a really, really good game. It looks atrocious, but <laughs> it, it plays really well. And it's a really good laugh. So definitely worth the download. Okay. Well done, you, Chilengo. All right, uh, my turn now. Uh, this is Outfoxed by Billy Goat, who you may remember made Nighty Night. I do remember that. I it do was remember the hard talking jousting game, which I don't. I don't know if we covered it in the end. I'm not, not sure, but uh, we're sorry. So, yeah. uh, here. Anyway, here's the game. Uh, there are three different modes: three minute scramble, which is obviously a three minute timed mode. Yep. You got egg timer, which is. Uh, also, oh, the game ends when the timer runs out and you get time bonuses for scoring points. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. We'll go free range mode just for fun. We'll stay with the soft boiled difficulty. You can see they like puns in this game. Well, you uh, like puns as well. I love puns. GameSpot's resident pungineer. You're a, you're a pun magnet. Right, so you are a fox. 
<laughs> you have a dinner pot, obviously, because uh, Fox is sophisticated. And uh, you spawn somewhere on the farm. We so are remember where your dinner house. pot is. Yes. It's easy to forget. Uh, we're next to this lava field here, which I think is meant to be wheat or corn or something. <laughs> uh, and then it's your job to break into the farm here. Oh, I see chickens. And then you have to seize a chicken. And then rod. leg it out of the fence. Yeah, I jump the fence. Unfortunately, here comes the farmer's wife with her shiv, and she's going <laughs> to stitch you up, bruv. Um, <laughs> if you don't make it to the dinner pot first, but you do have a line of defense in that you can turn your chicken into an egg gun. Hang on, is it, shooting, is it shooting the eggs out of its mouth? No. Or its, its ass? Bum. So he's, he's holding. <laughs> there. So anyway, I love the. I just love the image of it. It's just like someone walk around with a chicken, squeezing it to leg. Come yeah, back. it's a bit gross. But anyway, you got to get back to your pot. At which point he will put the, the chicken in and make some form of quip, like so. Bon appetit. Making some sexy stew. Mm, at one point he sings, "I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight," which is pretty funny. Oh, that's just cheating using a cooking sauce. I know. You'd yeah. Think, as a fox, he's hunting his own food. He You'd would go all that. the way. Yeah. And, ma and make the sauce. But then, okay, so the farmer's wife is patrolling the yard. Uh oh, here she comes. Oh no. Okay, so let's grab a chicken. Uh -oh. oh no, she shanked you. She shanked you. She's shanking us. But you can egg her. What happens when you egg her? She just she will eventually fall down, and you get many more points. Um, <laughs> but then you have to leg it because the farmer and his gun will come out. Oh. And, well, uh, you've just you've just you know incapacitated his wife. He's going to be very upset. Yep. But uh, look how happy I am in the top corner. Right, I'm so happy, and I've got 306 points, and I'm a great fox. Here comes the farmer with his gun, gun, gun. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it, really. It's a simple game because the life of a fox is. Is quite simple if fraught I, with danger. I, I don't know if this is a simple life for a fox. For starters, he's got a cooking pot that seems to hold, hold an unlimited amount of chicken. Um, so maybe, true. maybe the fox is in fact a wizard, and the cooking pot is like a brewing thing for making potions, and that's why he can hold an unlimited amount of chickens in it. It's probably a lot more likely he's just a fox and he wants to eat chicken. I don't know. He looks kind of wizard-like. Come on, run away! That dude's got a gun. Anyway, just use your wizard powers. That's the that's the game. It's not about wizards. <laughs> uh, it's about foxes, and it's quite good. No fire magic. It's pretty cheap. It's on the cheap end of the app scale. So uh, you know, give it a go. Check if it out. You like? Okay, and this last one is a text-based game called Choice of the Dragon. Text-based. It is text-based. What is it's, what it's is awesome. this, man? It's really good. It's free, um, but it asks you every time you open it if you want to upgrade to the full version. We can't be bothered. It's 2012, right now. and we're, 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 you know, text. I know, I know, I know. But it, it, it's, I'm joking. You play as a dragon, and you're supposed to have a happy dragon life. Uh, so it says here, for example, let us begin. The knight charges up the slope at you. His horse pounds the ground, having uh, carrying the heavy um, arm that man there, carrying the heavily armored warrior as if he were a child's doll. The knight sets his lance to attack you. How do you defend yourself, O oh mighty dragon? Do you take to the air with a quick beat of your wings, knock him off his horse with a slap of his tail? Uh, rush into his charging terror to pieces with your claws, or give him a puff of your fiery breath. Which one, Mark? I'd like to. I'd like to give him a quick puff. Okay, quick puff. So then it goes on, and uh, the horse is cooked nicely, um, and the knight's still alive. Do you attack him? Of course. How dare he attack me? Let him live to let. Uh, let him live to warn others of your immense power, or. Not worry, because he's beyond your concern now. The threat's ended. Uh, no, I mean he's a knight. He, you know, he attacked me. Screw him. Right, so we'll kill him. Great. Um, and then it asks you what your name is and all this kind of stuff. Let's just go through. Uh, let's be Calumvir. And um, basically, obviously, everything you do has an impact on the game and on your stats. It's got stats marks. So really is that exciting. what that thing at the beginning was about? So it, you know, depending on how I answered that, would affect what statistics my dragon would have. Yep. Um, See and if I was a kindly, loving dragon or one mm -hmm. that just wanted to burn horses. Yeah, it, the stats are kind of brutality versus finesse and right. honor versus vigilance and all this kind of stuff. Um, and it's just really witty like this. Um, 
you've it says as you think about it the knight's attack was probably inevitable after all you did just kid kidnap the princess from right out of her tower although isn't it a little sexist to always kidnap princesses and your yes, answers is. are well maybe but tradition demands dragons cap kidnap princesses even if that is sexist you dare question my actions you know i never thought about that before in fact i think i kidnapped a prince just to avoid being sexist or I'll have you know that I make a careful point of alternating between princes and princesses, but it happened to be time for a princess. Oh, right, I see. See? It's it's very witty. So it's, it's, it's kind of like a choose your own choose your choose own your adventure book exactly. mixed with some RPG sort of yeah. tropes. Yeah, and it's really fun. Uh, it's free. Um, it's quite tricky. If you don't make the right choices, you can easily end up kind of imprisoned and, and or dead. Right, um, so and the then game. it's game over. There, yeah. Is there like uh, there are multiple endings or something? I heard there are maybe? indeed multiple endings. I've played. I'm on my third playthrough now, and it's wicked. It's just really fun. Um, there are loads of other games from the guys, and they've even put their software for writing the game up on their website. Oh yes. So I think we're going to have a go at writing our own game at some point. Wow. Yeah. Writing skills. But that's right. it. Anyway, it's. It, I know it's not the sexiest of, of things to view from you for you kids at home, but it is honestly a very good game. All right. I would recommend. And uh, with that, that's that's all we've got time for this week. But we'll Ooh. be back uh, later on with some Android goodness. Or oh, you won't. I won't. I've got the day off tomorrow. Ha ha ha. So yeah, don't forget you can subscribe on YouTube and iTunes. There are some links on your screen now. Um, so yeah, go forth and play with mobile games. Bye. Bye. Bye.